What's up everyone, this is going to be in, uh, another video continuing the Minecraft uh, video I made uh, last week, I believe. Now, you guys did run into a few problems with it, which, you know, this entire update made things so complicated. But, uh, good news, I have found a different app that you guys can use instead of the file app. Uh, I do think it's good. The only thing I don't like about it is kind of slow, and there's certain things like uh, x-ray hacks, I believe they have like an anti-cheat uh, thing in it that filters it out, sucks, but you're still going to need to use the file app if you use x-ray. Now, um, you're going to need uh, a couple apps, you're still going to need file downloader. I know uh, some of you guys had problems with it, I am here to fix and uh, show you what to do. Now, this app is weird, and there is problems. Um, you're also going to need MC Add-ons Manager. This app is amazing because it's free, so you guys can use both these apps. And of course, the new Microsoft Edge. Now, first things first, to clear up a few things with people. When you guys get the download link, I highly, highly suggest uh, where you'd like to the download link, you use Mediafire. I use, uh, I see that Mediafire, you know, is more... Um, constant, you know, works a lot more consistent. Um, so yeah, I'm also going to show you guys how to download mods. Um, since I did maps last time, so that's going to help people like this. Now, this site right here, MC uh, DL Hub, I really recommend this site because a lot of the uh, mods and stuff do have Media Fire links. Now, anyways, um, what you guys are going to do is do the same thing. When you get your media fire link, you want to get to the download like this, press the three lines, copy, and then make sure you guys have to exit out of Microsoft Edge because when you go to file downloader, some people are realizing that you cannot paste. For some reason, we have Edge open in the background. I don't know why. Just make sure you have that closed. Then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do from web page, and you have to hover over this, this box right here. You guys can see you press the three lines and it will paste automatically now if the keyboard pops up just press B it'll be gone now you guys have to click back, click off and click back in and hit the three lines again or this button right here just hit this and it's gonna ask you for a file name you can name it whatever just make sure it, uh, you keep it in dot MC pack or if it's a zip it should be fine as well now you're gonna hit okay and that's one done. Now, since this is a mod, usual uh, usually mods will have a behaviors pack and a resource pack. So that right there was behaviors pack. They're usually bigger. And this right here, I believe, is the resource pack. You want to do the same thing? Copy. Boom. Exit out of Microsoft Edge. Go back to File Downloader. Okay, this is already in here. I'm gonna uh, go click in. Uh, should be able to click back in here. Okay, there we go. Sometimes it is buggy, so if I find a better app, I'll let you guys know. I paste it back in there. Okay. I'm gonna go down here to this button. Click that. I'm gonna press B to get rid of the keyboard. And I'm gonna save it. Boom. Now that I got that done, go to the top left right here. You guys will have to go to storage right here. It says storage. Now under here, a lot of people are having problems not being able to find a local file. It's right here, guys. All your uh, consoles should have it. You click on it, and you will have your two packs right here. You guys want to select a slide, both of them. If you're doing a mod, there's usually two. Go down to the bottom right, and you'll see three lines. Click it, and hit copy to. Oh, well, you guys have to click one at a time. My bad. So just do one at a time, just say copy to. Now you will get this page. Now, um, for I don't know if it's just me, but it doesn't show anything here. So what you guys usually have to do is go to the clock on the side and go back here to the console and it will show all your folders. Um, it will show your downloads folder right here. You will click your downloads folder and you will just hit save just like that. And then you do the next one. Same thing. Copy to. This will pop up. You go to the uh, side 
Now, if it won't let you go on the side, you have to like click the three lines to get into it. Or not the three lines, like the two windows button on your controller, the select button to actually be able to you know, move around here. Sometimes it's like that, I'm not sure why. But just go back to the clock, go back here, and then you can go to download. And then same thing, just hit save. Now once you have your two files saved in your download, you can quit out of file downloader. You're done with that. Now here's where MC add-ons manager, you know, comes into play. I love it, but I wish they can speed up the process in which the um, importing files takes, because it does take a very, very long time, I have noticed. So what you guys do, you load up this page, it might show some of your, you know, uh, maps and stuff, which is pretty cool. You can also have skin packs. Um, but when you have this entire page up, um, you guys want to go to here where it shows import. Now you will be taken to this downloads folder automatically. If not, you guys can probably paste this in. It will take you to your downloads right here. But you guys can see right here, they already have textures. You just click on them and install them. Now you just press A and they will start importing. Now I will say this does take quite a bit of time to import. It can take multiple minutes. It really does take quite a bit of time. So just let it sit. Do not exit out of the game or do not exit out of this app because sometimes it can corrupt the files when it imports. So let it sit here and I will uh, come back when it's done. All right, guys, I am back. Now, once you guys import the files, every time you will get something like this, you guys can go ahead and delete the source pack. Um, it just saves storage. You will keep the um, files for your game. Now, as you guys can see right here, it automatically makes the resource packs for you, automatically makes the behavior packs for you, and you guys have the both uh, the files. So just like that, you guys can exit out of Minecraft um, add-ons manager. Now, I'm going to um, talk real quickly about um, people that use the app. Uh, where is it? Looking for it. Ah, right here. My File Explorer. Now, I did leave out uh, a quite huge detail. Uh, my fault. Now, you guys have to go to the top right, three lines, and you have to hit Add Folder to Library. Now, this is how you guys get the download folder. And then you guys go to your clock and then your console, same thing. And then you will hit the downloads folder, select it, and you guys will get the download folder for this. So if people are using this method, that's how you will get the download uh, folder. So that's just to clear that up. Now I am going to load into Minecraft to show you guys that it does in fact work. And if you guys have any more problems, of course, I will be in the comments to help you guys out. Um, I'm sorry, this video took a little longer than expected to make. I have been doing, uh, been through some medical things recently, and um, uh, also wanted to thank you guys for the support. Uh, the last video I think is about 2.5, 3,000 views, which is quite a bit. Uh, I usually don't get that many. Also gained a lot of subscribers, so hopefully you guys stick around. Uh, we'll try to post a lot more. I have not been posting a lot within you know the last few months, really. Kind of lost you know all hope you know for really posting anything, but. Seeing, you know, all that support really has motivated me to keep making videos like this and helping you guys out. Hopefully, I can uh, do some gaming videos, maybe do some streaming, you know, get some of you guys to watch or something as well. Um, I am currently trying to improve on editing so I can make my videos higher quality for you guys. Um, I did have to cut the part out for the importing because that would have took way too long and made the video longer for people who wanted to, you know, just get a quick tutorial. But I will load, you know, Minecraft up fully so you guys can see this without any editing. Now, gotta wait for this to load. Um, I may make a tutorial on how you guys can um, download custom skins and use them. Now, it is the same process as what we just did with the resource packs, except you import a skin pack. But to equip the skin pack, it is a little difficult because it does require you, I think, like to sign out of your account, sign back in. It's really weird. I don't know why. Microsoft has made it so difficult to mod in this game, even though they fully support it. Um, it is not Microsoft's fault, though. Uh, they did update Edge, which, you know, that's a good thing. It's just, you know, it's sad that they removed the feature. It might be, even be just a bug why you can't download any files. Who knows? Hopefully they add it, fix it, whatever. 
now uh, we are loading into Minecraft slowly but surely. And I'll show you guys how to um, use the resource packs and everything and how to select them when you're creating a world. Uh, I believe you can use it on an existing world, but I'm not too sure. I recommend using uh, a new world when you uh, download mods. Now what you're going to do is hit create new world. Just create a new world like normal. Press A. Uh, I'm going to go into creative. Doesn't matter, you guys can be in survival. You go down to add-ons, and you go down to my packs. And you guys can see right there. I'm just going to hit activate. It's going to go up. Also, I do have x-ray. Um, if you guys want a tutorial and stuff on that, I can, you know, hook you guys up on that. Um, boom. You guys want to put this on behaviors pack as well. Now, that's going to be on both. And you will just load up the world. Now, depending on the size of the mod, it may cause the game, you know, take a quite a bit of time to load. As you guys can see right now, it's saving resource packs. It will do all this loading stuff. Um, it will work perfectly fine. Just, you know, give it time. You got to be patient. But, um... Overall, this works perfectly fine. So, yeah. Um, like I said, I do still recommend using Mediafire when you guys have, you know, when you get the links and do the thing where you copy the link and paste it in File Downloader. I see Mediafire working 100% of the time. Now, if you guys paste it in the uh, link and it says invalid, try using a different mod. Or you guys may have, like, you know, put an extra space or something to make sure, you know, you're doing that. If it's still having problems, like I said, just comment in the uh, comments and I will help you out. As you guys can see right now, it is loading. And just again, show you guys, I am on Xbox. So, let's give it some time to load. Yeah. Okay, now it's building train, that's good. Also, if you guys don't mind, comment in the description or what you guys think about Mike. I have done some uh, filters and stuff to it. It may start, sound the same. I just want to make sure you know you guys can hear me well on everything. And if I'm not talking too fast or whatnot, just let me know. Okay. You guys can see I'm loaded in. And just like that, we will automatically spawn in with all the stuff right here. I never used this mod, so I'm not really sure on how it works. I believe it should be like a couple items or something to add it. Or whatnot. Yeah, here we go. There we go. You guys can see right here there's a lot of items. Like I said, I'm not really sure what this mod does. Um, I think it adds like a bunch of weapons or something. Green apples, meteors, a mini chain. Um, all kinds of things. Now, I'm not sure if it's bugged out by not showing some of the textures or whatnot. Uh, if it is, I just recommend using the other way, but I believe it's working. Uh, I got swords and whatnot. Um, yep, so that should be the end of the video, guys. Um, if you guys want any, uh, help, like I said, just comment in the description, and, uh, I'll be watching and you know hopefully you guys uh hopefully this cleared out things for you guys and uh yeah see ya